ice. Felt pretty cold last night. Good morning, everybody. It's Lynn from A Bit of Bird Song. You can see me in the mirror. It got really cold last night. I wanted to show you a few things I've done in the workshop. I'm trying to winterize in a kind of an old fashioned way. And I have put heavy fabric and quilts at the window and at the door. So I still have my beaded curtain and behind that is a quilt. It's hanging on a heavy curtain rod and uh, some hooks. I still need to get another piece of foam to go up in this corner of the door. Uh, but it's, I can tell a big difference in here. It felt actually okay when I walked in this morning. Now I know it's cold in here because it's 30 degrees outside and this is not an insulated building. But I did want to show you just a few things. Let's turn this lamp on. I have about 20 minutes out here this morning, I guess, before I head in to work and I wanted to do a little bit of journaling. This is, ooh, and let's plug in our little flashy lights. There's the flashy lights. Lots of fun stuff in here. This is my happy place. The art desk is coming along. Oh, I love all the lights. You can see those are sort of the icicle lights that really are supposed to go around a house, I guess, but I like to have that hanging over my work desk. Ooh, I need coffee. It's kind of chilly out here. 30 degrees. I have to leave soon. But I did want to spend about 15 minutes in my lace-covered journal this morning. I do have a few things that I want to do and a few things I want to show you. Last night I was going through beads and I made this little bracelet with the letters and I've got the names of my children on here with the little butterfly in the center. So that was fun. I, I just was really, I did so much sorting and cleaning out yesterday and I finally, at about 10 p.m., said, I've done enough. So I sat down and played with beads while Jason worked in his music room. So let's get over to what is current. Mm, I do love the way that page turned out. That's really pretty. So on this page, you know what? How fortuitous that there is already a pocket here. I wanted to show you something so special to me. Pink Odd Bird is a channel that I absolutely love and April, who is the owner of that channel, she is so incredibly sweet and talented. I love just everything about her. Um, very creative, very open, easy to approach, you know, by way of her Etsy shop or her YouTube channel or some of the Facebook groups where she's active. I asked April earlier in the month of October if she wanted to trade birds because we both have birds in our channel name. I'm a bit of bird song and she is Pink Odd Bird. And I said, wouldn't it be fun if a bird could fly from the East Coast from Birdsong to see Pink Odd Bird and then have a bird fly from California from Pink Odd Bird over to Birdsong's house. So I love, she is so clever. We've got the bird here and a feather. Pink Odd Bird, November 2019. It says, let's go listen to a bird song. And I love that about April. That's one of the things that I love is her creativity. So. We did trade cards, and I really want to put this in the current journal. And I love that there's a pocket here for this little bird. And I might not, see it's got the little, the little tail feathers hanging down, so I might not slide it all the way in. I think what I'm going to do is use a paper clip just to attach it over on the side. But before I do that, I want to try something just want to 
play for a minute with um, a tiny bit of color. It won't take long. I think with April's card being next to this page, I just want the tiniest bit of pink. And I know April loves black, and I was gonna say let's use some black. However, uh, I'm afraid I might get too much and ruin the pink because I only have a few minutes. So let's do one other color of pink here. I'm gonna use this brayer just to spread out some color. Yeah, let's get that to roll. And then I want a little bit of paint on this page. And it's okay with me if it goes over to some other pages. You know how I feel about that. So that was really quick, as you can see. I'm going to take one of these baby wipes and just wipe the brayer off. That's okay. And what do I want to do here? Maybe a couple of drops of alcohol ink. You know how I like just playing with that. I don't know... I don't think I want to glue this down. I'm probably going to do something along here. But, um, oh, that little boy could sit right on that ink spot. Well, let's put him on in there. I've got a little tiny container of tacky glue. I know it's not, it doesn't make sense economically over the long term. I did pick that up at the Dollar Tree, so I don't know that that's the best deal because you can get larger containers, and I normally pick up larger containers with coupons at AC Moore or Michaels, but we were just right there and I knew that I was out, so I was really um, actually happy that, that it was in there. Oh, and look at this envelope that the, that the uh, card from April came in. I love that. Oh, and there's a really sweet note on the back that just means so much. That feels dry already, actually. I don't know that I want to write directly on that, though. I'm really spending some time getting organized out here, and I've started bringing things out that I use all the time. I love this container, and I know it sounds so silly. It, it fell and broke, and it kind of makes me love it all the more because... I, I just cringed when it fell, and it actually broke into pieces that I could glue back together. And I, I just love this. Jason bought me a beautiful orchid when I had my shop, my retail store. And it bloomed so beautifully for two or three years. I just, and then it kind of, you know, it just, it went away. I used this just to hold pieces of paper for writing or whatever. And I see something else that I think I want to use. Maybe. Ooh, that is so pretty. I could put that on the edge like a tab to turn the page. I think I'll go ahead and do that. These uh, went out in the most recent kits that have gone out. The, the weekly fun pack. And that will be something that I do every week. Uh, I'll just have a few every week. And... Let's just glue you down right here. And you can be dry when I come back. And let me write an entry for today. I thought I'd turn the camera this way to finish up the video. 
I've got to leave and go to work. And, you know, I love my job. It's crazy. I talk about it too much, I know. But uh, there are local bookmakers and paper craft artists who come in and sometimes they, you know, stop by the channel and I just, they inspire me. I love it so much. I love being able to interact with the customers that way. And I just love my job. Anyway, let me show you how today's spread turned out. And I will probably add more. It's right here. And there's the little boy sitting on the pink ink spot. And the beautiful card from April is up here. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna head out for work now. You can see I have my little name tag on. It says the paper fairy <laughs> that's me so if you're local you need to visit the scrap exchange it's the best reuse center ever amazing and got a little bit of everything I love it I love it there I hope everybody has a good day thank you so much for watching and thank you to new subscribers I will see you soon and bye for now